Amen. To rang a kima mi ba vini bi naga ba lebu talibi kemo ni ena matani nda. Bi naga ba lebu sara to rang na ngau na ni nemo ni wasabi kima mi kima mi sanda me to nolo be mo ni me kima mi ba rango di kemo ni. Father, speak your word to us, encourage us, empower us to those who need who need empowering. Please empower us and strengthen them through your words. To those that needs encouragement, Lord, encourage them with these words. To those who needs healing. Father, heal them with the power of your blood this morning. We ask you in the name of Jesus to speak your word to us because you know us, Lord. Ni boso bi kema mi mbala tene o kemo ni nga o ni kele kema mi. Kema mi siang ni bi kele itiko baka yango. Kema mi siang ni bi kele itiko baka yalo. Yo kemo ni nga o ni kele kema mi tiko turanga. E na matanga ni nda. Wira to do ka rantami tiko ngo turanga. Mera wara ka nono mo ni bosa. O sata masula ka rana non rambulo bi kemo ni. Father, help them. Change their heart to be receptive to your words. Change their lives, Lord, so that they can be attentive to your word. And most importantly, to live according to what you want them to be. Father, I pray for your blessings upon their lives. For they choose this moment. They set apart this time to sit down to listen to your word. I have nothing and I don't have any word for them. But you have everything. And you have word for them, Lord. And speak to them this morning according to what you know. Father, bless your word and bless your children. Those that couldn't make it, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for your protections and your guidance upon their lives as well. Wherever they may be at this time, wherever they, might, they may be doing right now, Lord, I pray for your heads of protections around them right now. I pray for your heads of protections around them right now. And I'm not going to be back along at the Tugno non from Bullaby, or wrong to my pity. The people know to the Rosar to Rang, or wrong to my kin. I'll say, I'm not going to be back along at the Tugno from Bulla. And I'm not going to be singing. 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 I'm not going to Di bakalong at tiger na lubi mo ni, may ano naman ni tamata, may lulubi ra mo ni de de ra dahil tigong anak lo, kimi may gay dubok mas, ano ba kami na kaya na damo ni Jesus, na iba ang bulan din na endo ang mga. Amen, amen. If you have your Bible with you, will you please go with me to the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter three. That's where I want you to go for our Bible reading this morning. Revelation chapter three, I. Have one title for our sermon this morning: Be presentable. Whatever you do, beloved, make sure that you live your life in order to be presentable before God. Amen. Be presentable. Revelation chapter three. That's where I want you to go uh, for our Bible reading this morning. Bagatakilana kana wasetulu. Tugu kina na bonua menda to redi kina nando to lesoni. And I'm attacking the entire Revelation chapter three, from verse number fourteen. Remember, beloved, the topic for our sermon this morning: be presentable. I will try my best not to take much of your time this morning. Revelation chapter three, from verse number fourteen. That's where we will go for our Bible reading this morning. Whatever translations that you have that with you, please follow through with us as I'm reading. Uh, from this passage of scripture this morning, please and listen very carefully to what God is trying to say to you and to me this morning. Some of the things that I will say it might not be relevant to you, but there will always be something from God for you this morning. Amen. Because you have chosen, you have given this time to sit down to listen to His words. God will always have something for somebody. Amen. And that includes you this morning. Revelation three. From verse fourteen, this is what the Bible says: "And to the angel of the church of the Lord who stands, write this thing: says the Amen, the faithful and true witness." Okay. The word Amen means yes, it is done, it is true. Okay. So he says here: "This thing says the Amen, the faithful and true witness." So this is the true witness. The true witness is speaking now. The beginning of the creation of God. 
the beginning of the creation of God. Which means the one that is speaking now. Amen. He was in the beginning. As it says there. In the beginning of the creation of God. Okay. And then it says in verse 15. I know your works. Now remember beloved. The true witness knows your work. Which means nothing you can hide before the true witness. Okay. Nothing you can hide before the faithful one. Nothing you can hide before the beginning of the creation of God. Nothing you can hide before the Amen. Okay. He says, I know your works, that you are neither cold or hot, nor hot. I could wish that you were cold or hot. Okay. I will read that again. Revelation 3, Revelation 3, 14 and 15. And to the angel of the church of the Lady Saints, write, This thing says the Amen, the faithful, the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. So he identified himself, Jesus, who was speaking to John. Okay, this is not John the Baptist. This is John the Revelator. John, the one that was in the island of Patmos. They, they left him there to die a slow and painful death. But God had other plans. God says to him, before you die, I want you to just write this down for the churches. And this, ladies and churches, this is known as the lukewarm church. In other words, era tu and a canabe mama, borderline Christian, sitting on the fence. This is that church. Okay? And now, the Amen, the faithful one from the beginning till now, the true witness from the beginning till now, the one that it was, the one that was in the beginning of the creation until now. He says in verse 15, I know your works. Which means everything that you ever did in this world and what you have done yesterday, what you are doing today and the things that you are planning to do in the future that is not according to the word of God, according to Jesus here, he says, I know your works. Okay? He says, I know your works that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. Okay. Now, the topic of our sermon this morning, the heading of our topic this uh, sermon this morning is to be be presentable. Amen. Be presentable. Okay. And in order for you to understand what that means, I want you to go with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 5. What it means to be presentable, beloved. And why that Bible verse is relevant to this sermon this morning. Um, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So if you go with me to the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, I want to read out to you something from here. Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, I want to read out to you this, this passage of scripture because it is, it is relevant to what I was saying to you. Be presentable. In the time that we are living in now, try and live your life to be presentable. And I'm not saying to be presentable in your workplace. Uh, what I'm saying to you is to be presentable before God. Ephesians 5, go with me. I'll follow it through with me from verse 1. I will read and then I will explain to you. Therefore be imitators of God as dear children. Number one, be imitators of God. Amen. Now remember what I said. I said in the beginning that every time we come to be seated like this, to listen to the word of God, this is a way of God preparing you for the place that Jesus is preparing for you. Okay? Don't you think for a moment, don't think for a moment that God doesn't care about your situation. Don't think for a moment that God does, uh, no longer loves you. Don't think for a moment that God doesn't care about you. 
Don't think for a moment that God doesn't care about your children. Don't think for a moment that God doesn't care for your marriage. Beloved, God cares so much. And this is His ways of preparing you to the place, for the place that Jesus is preparing for you. Jesus said, in my Father's house there are many mansions. Which means the Father has already prepared the mansion. And then Jesus said, but if it were not so, I am telling you now that I will go and I will prepare a place for you. And I will come back to take you so that where I am, you will be also. Okay, so Jesus, his job, number one, is to die on the cross for you, for the remission of your sin. To make way for you. Because he says, no one cometh unto the Father but through me. So Jesus comes and lives and died on the cross and rose again from the dead. So that he can provide a way for us to enter in to the promise of God. And while he did that, and then he turned around and he says to us, It is good for you that I go, so that when I go I will send another one, a comforter, a teacher, a helper, who will be with you and in you. Why does Jesus need to send somebody else? Because he is preparing us. The Holy Spirit and God the Father, God sent His Word, the Holy Spirit come and administer the Word of God. The Holy Spirit quickens the Word. It brings the Word into light. And when the Word is, is explained to us, there we have the Holy Spirit to bring those words to life in our heart. This is the way that God has provided for us to be prepared. In order for us to be presentable into the kingdom of God when that time comes. Okay, so what God is doing to you now, as you are hearing the word of God this morning, what God is doing to you, He is preparing you through the use of His words. And so He was from the Father. He came down to die for us. Not only that, He says, I will be with you. Then he sent the Holy Spirit to represent him among us right now to prepare us so that when Jesus comes, he will have no problem recognizing you. Your colors will be flying high because you are living your life in this world, imitators of God, so that you can become presentable and God will be, be very happy to welcome you into his heaven because your life is worth that place because you are willingly giving your life to be prepared by the word of God that we are hearing this morning. Amen. And na kain bimbiki na turang kain marama na nandang do sulian na nandang ngau na menda may dambe menda rongo na posi ni kelo mbala taya ibi pa karo taki chiko na kelo. E sama kiko chiko na kelo e wuku taki kiko chiko na kelo. E wuku taki kiko chiko na kelo mo rawaning ngani chiko na ponoya turang kain marama. We we know that that there was a story in the old in the New Testament. Where Jesus was telling these stories to his disciples and the people that were listening to him on that day. And he says that there was a rich man who prepared a banquet for the people to come and enjoy the meal. And while they are enjoying the meal, he was walking around and then he saw someone amongst those visitors, who are those, um, the ones that were invited to that meeting, that, that, that feasting. He found that one of them is in that place with the wrong attire. He wasn't dressed for the occasion. And Jesus says that the man said to that person, How could you come and sit at my table, at my banquet, without the right and proper dress? And then he turns to his servants and says, Tie his hands and his leg and put him outside. Malata, nisa vinakatokwe me me pat nikana. Yes, I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a part of that wedding feast. We want to be part of that banquet, but we don't want 
to change our dress. We don't want to be presentable. We don't want to live our life in order to be presentable before God. Beloved, it will never work. Okay, verse 5, uh, of verse 1, Ephesians 5. Therefore be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, and offering in a sacrifice to God for his sweet-smelling aroma. Verse 3, but fornication and all uncleanness, fornications and all uncleanness, not just some, beloved, not just the bigger ones, not just the tiny ones, no, all uncleanness. Okay, if you want to know what this, what's, what's all uncleanness is, you just ask yourself. Okay, that is all uncleanness. Whatever you know that it is that that is not according to the word of God, that is all uncleanness. He says in verse three, but fornications and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be even named among you. Me kaku mandanga ni zavuti mai yana kemoni maliwa. Kaku mandanga ni introduce teki mai yana kemoni maliwa. Kaku ni introduce teki mai yana lomoni na mumuni matabu bale. Kaku ni introduce teki yana lomoni mbolo bakawati. Kaku ni introduce teki veira na luvenda. All uncleanness. He says. Let it not be even named among you as is fitting for saints. Verse 4, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coerced jesting, which are not fitting. They are not fitting, beloved. As a child of God, those things are not fitting for you. They are not fitting for me. They are not fitting for our children. They are not fitting for our community, our church, our denominations, our fellowship. These things are not fitting, beloved. Because God is trying to prepare you into a place that has been prepared for those who will believe in God, who will serve Him. These things are not fitting for those people. If you are so looking forward to that place, beloved, then this lifestyle is not fitting for you. That is the only thing that we are waiting for now. For the Son of Man to return. For the Son of God to return. To come and take us to that place. We are waiting for Him. We are waiting for that moment. We are not waiting for another sign. We are just waiting for the sound of the trumpet. And the water is going to take in the way. Dona singa to ranga ken marama na tontola na bioni lo malangi ena basi kama na lubu ni kelu enda na kau zako ken dar na tu zako tu mandoi ramater tu bete ki Kristo muri koi ken dar don bulu tu enda na gay kau zako watakai that is the only thing that we are waiting for now for so long we have been waiting for the prepared place and now we are just waiting for the one that will come and take us but be careful beloved there are things that are not fitting for us as Christians. There are things that are not fitting for us as believers. Yes, I can say I can stand here and tell you and encourage you and say, you know what? You can just live like that. You can still have eternal life. No, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Neither filthiness was for, nor foolish talking, nor coerced jesting, which are not fitting, but rather give, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know, verse 5, that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an adulterer, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Verse 5, for this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, na matangali tamatama na vaga dawe na unclean person, unclean person, no covetous man, who is a, uh, who who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. 
Now, we all know that the Bible speaks a lot of the kingdom of God. But at this place, in this verse alone, it says, the kingdom of Christ and God. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God. There is never, ever in the Bible you will find the kingdom of Christ. This is the only place. The kingdom of Christ and of God. Do you know why? Because there will be a wedding feast. And a doan na kanapat ni baka mao. And a baka mao te gikin na lube ni kalo. Ngon ito rango jesu kote kani song ko song lin mao to. May mato ko ay mambalata ni song ko song lin mao to. Sang kita lamo ko na alo tamo may may baka ro takat chiko. May uku takat chiko na song ko song lin mao to. Balat may alo na ngona. May le presyan takat alo chisu na song ko song lin mao to ba tangaya. Buwa na taman. So what we are doing now. The Holy Spirit is with us to prepare us so that we are, we are presentable in the kingdom of God with Jesus Christ on our side. Amen? This is the reason why you are here, beloved. God wants to prepare you. And there are some things that you are doing in your life that is not fitting for you as a child of God. You've got to live those lifestyles. You've got to walk away from that. You've got to walk away from all uncleanness. You've got to walk away from fornications. You've got to walk away from all things that is not according to the word of God. Because it is not fitting for you as a child of God to live those lifestyles. Because if you continue to live on those lifestyles, when it comes to that moment, you will be unpresentable. And God will say to his servants, untie him, bound him. And throw him out. That is the reason why those stories are in the Bible. To prepare you and to prepare me. Amen. Go on a bibaru taki ni kalu. Nikua e bagaru taki ko na kalu. Nikua e uku taki ko na kalu. Klan ni midan a bibaru taki to rangkain marama e kauta ni sonaka. Eh, bi kemuni na marama ni bagaru rong chuk mai na matangin dai. E tu bi kemuni na kena yaya to do na tuiza. Nindambe and a matani lelo, Sanikala, Vida na minitis, Vida na ya, one on the moon in Dambe to an matani no money lelo. They win in the summer two angos, I've been doing doing a matangali lelo. A so some I paro take you cover a little money or drum no room, Tortal Mendon a little eleven on a becky. Some barony sir so me lava no motoka, did Talman de Tacavali live on a little over lay lie, Le Vata Capitalman de Sota la Kennebuki, Drevango and Usun and Drevango. Wang goi takkan apa tu na? Tor mana tu isa clip takkan go clip takkan? What you are trying to do? You are trying to look presentable because you are about to leave your house. You are trying to look presentable. And dan and tapi nak kata cikok kenda, mana presentable? We ir nata mat, mereka kau ni dua nak kamera, redo orang kerap bangko, elang kat, entah nak elang kat bingkong go. Isteri saya ambek ni cicur muka pun hilang. Esok bikin mana nama ramah salin, tapi mantan ngapa nama motoka? Sembuh sembuh tali mana lelo ini kani motoka? Moni jika bikin moni tali. What you are trying to do? You are trying to look presentable, ladies. And that is exactly what we are doing here. We look at this mirror, beloved. And the right to kani bola tambah lebih singa kedinga. Menda right to kanda, nada bukui cikgu ikan, kui sengi di cikgu ikan. Saya nada bukui cikgu ikan, dah sengi di bola cikgu ikan. Kau bukan tasar, rey di kena santai ceroboh kena ni lelongo kau na bosan ni kelu. Mungkin rey di kena kau indo nak ada buta mana kelu. Some some of those words it jumps out of the Bible and hits you in the chest. That's when you have to realize that those words are there for you, beloved. And if there is something that that is in you that should not be there, you've got to use the Holy Spirit's tweezer to take it out. Now lo tambo na na soli cuci buku kau. Nakam yang nubuki ku kena. Mereka kasar dengan orang nubuci rubi ku. Biar na na lubian dengan orang lewa. Garap tumbuh tak kecik mai. Saat tiga bulan telinga merah sabu lido ira merah ukut takira. Malah tanah apa merah ni ni ribin tak kena merah presentable kena. Oce sanggai sanggai rasa ngau ira merah pakar ni ribin tak takira cikgu itu untukku. Which is not a bad thing. It is a good thing. It shows that they are taking care of themselves and their lives. But what about what about in the spiritual realm, beloved? 
which is far more important than presenting us outside of in this world. And bimbi saran namu presenta ki ko bagayalo and matani kelo ke namu tanran tamata. Amen. Whatever you you find in this book that is not in you, you've got to try and implement that into your lives. But whatever is in your heart that is not in this book, you've got to remove that. Na kake de kedo koe chuko ya londa, sanga ni chuko na poso ni kelo, kota lebi to dogoya. Ya na kake chuko na poso ni kelo koe sanga ni chuko bikanda, toro mo yange implementa wa nombula. Okay? Ngo na ilo ilo. And the Robic and the Kin and the Chilo and the Chichiro Chico Kin and a Vaisinga Kedanga, a Vema Taka Kede, Nessa Bernium Bimbi on no Molomoni Valle, Molago Valle da Vaca, some Molago Cornivuli, say Venga of no Lago Kina, or you go to Chiro Yuga Mandanillo. Everybody, every morning, they give their time to stand at the mirror and stare at that person that they are looking at. Okay? And some of us doesn't even care because there's nothing. That he can do to change what God has done for him or her. But some of us, they, they take hours standing at the mirror and staring at that person. And another Sanga Chingar Mera presentable and Matara Natamata. But God is doing the exact same thing to you this morning. Nikua, if Kochikumana Kalum, if one then Biriko no Loman Matavale, Gambito Kamatam and Doni Lelo, I don't know what Chiro Yuko Bavinaka. Whatever is there that shouldn't be there, take it out. Whatever is not there that should be there, implement that and leave it this morning. Verse 5, for this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Verse 6, let no one deceive you. This is the time that we're living in. Our people will be deceived. Eh? They, let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. Walk away from them, beloved. The only thing that you should go and do is to tell them about Jesus and his love and his saving grace. If you are not telling them that, then walk away from them. Other than that, walk away from them. Because sooner or later they will deceive you. He says, let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of dis disobedience. Therefore do not be partakers with them. For you were once darkness. You were there once. But God saved you by his grace and his mercy. And when you come here, do not go back there. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Walk as children of light. And then in verse 9, For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness and truth, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord. And have no, listen to this, have no fellowship. Have no fellowship, beloved. Have, and have no fellowship with the unfruit work, unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Verse 12, for it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things are, that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is light. And then in verse 14, Therefore he says, Awake you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Okay? Now, let's go to verse 15. 
See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Walk as wise. Work, walk as wise. Okay? See then that you walk circumspectly, not as, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Now what is the point of all these things, beloved? This is what God is using to prepare you and me. So that we might become presentable when the time comes. Verse 17, Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not be unwise. Okay, He says, do not be unwise. But understand what the will of the, Lord's, the Lord is. Okay. If you listen to verse uh, 15, verse 15 said this, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools. Now he used the word fools in verse 15, and in verse 17 he used the word unwise. Okay, can I explain to you a little bit about those two words? Fools, that means you are fool. Okay, you are fool. Nothing else. Now Lelia, Okay. But then he used another word in verse 17. Unwise. Those are two different words. A fool and an unwise person. Okay. Because this is the, 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 the difference. Unwise is someone who was classed as wise once and then that wisdom has been taken away from him. And then he has become now unwise. You see the difference? A fool is someone which is just a fool. Okay? Now, lelia, kwasa lelia nga. Now, unwise, kan balim balok kwa, ando nangono kwa ya he was wise. Okay? But then something happens, and that wisdom has been taken away from him. And now he becomes unwise. And most of us Christians, believers, we have the wisdom of God in us because we believe in Jesus and we follow Jesus. But the moment we walk away from God, that's when those wisdom has been taken away from us. And what have we become? We become unwise. You see the difference? So beloved, you choose. Are you a fool or you are unwise? I, I hate to say that you are a fool because you are not. You have the wisdom of God because you have been saved by the grace of God. Okay? The Old Testament says, a fool says in his heart that there is no God. Atheists, people who don't believe in God, they are fools. You are not. You are once wise, but now you have become unwise because you walk away from Jesus. You walk away from his love. You walk away from his, from his words. You walk away from his provisions. You were once wise, but now you have become unwise for that reason. So live in such a way, beloved, so that when that day comes, you will be presentable before God. Amen? Listen to that. Therefore, do not... He says in verse 15, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fool, but as wise. Not as fool, but as wise. But when there is no wisdom, and the wisdom has been taken away, you are now classed as unwise. Not as fools, but unwise. Verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of God is. So the unwise, they don't understand what the will of God. Yes, they were there once. He says, you were once in darkness. But not anymore. Not anymore. Okay? You are now here. You are now prepared by the power of the word of God. Saved by the blood of Jesus. Prepared by the word of God. For a prepared place. And he says this, do not be unwise. Do not love the world. Do not be deceived. Do not go back. Do not fellowship with them. Walk away from them. 
Be ye separate, says the Lord. Mondo tawa say tu sa kaya ko chobani leo bonga. Kenda na tamata na lube nikolo wenta tamata ndoa tani. Kenda na tawa say my beira tamata yersanga ni takabo na wosini kolo yersanga ni mbulu mepa kana wosini kolo. And the takabo kenda mepa kana wosini kolo. We are the wise ones. Okay. Kenda na tamaka tamata vuku. Kenda shulwe kenda na vuku kena yalo matu my one kolo. So live your life as such, beloved, because. You want to be presentable. God wants you to be presentable. That's why he's sending his words. But if you are unwise, then there will be no chance for you to be presented before God on that day. Verse 18, And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. So being drunk is not for you. It's not for me. We have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Why? Because we have to be presentable. You cannot drink wine. You cannot be drunk with wine or any other kinds of drinks and expect God to present you on that day. Beloved, it will never work. It has never worked. It will never work. You want to be presentable before God? You've got to live the life that is fitting. In order for you to be presentable. Otherwise, just forget about it. Well, that one bullet on Mundo. Well, that one not presentable before God. Give a car. You go to the car. Amen. This is not my word, it's the word of God. Do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And it says in verse 20, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting to one another in the fear of God. Now, verse 22. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. In simple terms, you will never be able to submit to God if you cannot submit to your husband. I will read that again. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. I will read that again. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. Did you pick out anything from there? He said, wives, submit to your own husband. Sometimes, wives, no disrespect, you submit to other wife's husband, but you never submit to your own husband. Iko rin leva rong o tatale na kaya tuko na talo po ni Lily ni mata po bale. Iko siya nga wando ni rong rong o tatale tuko na nono mo Lily ni mata po bale. You will never be able to live a life that is pleasing unto the Lord and submit to the Lord if you don't submit to your husband. Wives, remember that. You will never be able to submit to God. Loving God is out of the window. If you cannot submit to, to your husband, you cannot love God. So it will be wrong for you wives to say that you love God, but at home you don't submit to your husband, to your own husband. So you've got to understand that you as a wife, you've got to submit to your own husband. then you will be able to submit to God. If you cannot submit to God, to your own husband, you cannot submit to God. You cannot even love God. Because every time you will come to God, God will say, go back to your husband and submit to him. Go back to your husband and listen to him. Go back to your husband and obey him. Go back to your husband. Submit from that first, then you come to me, then I will love you. Lesu talmanda liver mol mulum takeko, one of a team, okay, lag me veil. I want to get me thing on me. Eh? The order of this has been established in the beginning in the garden. Adam and Eve. Kakwasarni nanuma, don't think for a moment that, that Paul just came up with this all of a sudden and wrote this to the, his two letters to the Ephesian churches. No, beloved. This was established in the garden of Eden. In the creation. Remember the one that says the Amen, the faithful one, the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. He was the one who implemented this. 
and it will still ring true even when we go on in this life our generations after them this word will remain for them wives submit to your own husband okay le bi kamuni na bi kamuni na marama ra ra muni ba ra ra ta le bi na so ta la tura na bi ma na bi ma ta bo ba le ye sang de ra na ba ra wa no chemo to ra ka marama e da la ya e da la ya ke muni na marama to ba ra ra ma ile we na o chinda san ga ra ni ma ro ngodi ko na kalo eh to ba ra submit wives please submit submit to your own husband as to the lord for the husband remember this wives for the husband is head of the wife for the husband is head of the wife that order if you follow that order you will be presentable before god okay you've got to follow that order husband is the head of the wife for the husband is the head of the wife as also christ is head of the church and he is the savior of the body therefore verse 24 just as the church is subject to christ so let the wives be to their own husband not other not your 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 sister friend's husband your own husband wives so let the wives be to their own husband in everything verse 5 husbands gentlemen listen to this husbands love your wives just as Christ has loved the church and gave himself for her love your wife you cannot love god if you don't love your wife and sang about on doni rawa sang about on doni rawa no mai tukuna ni lo mana na kelo sang about on doni rawa no tukuna ni lo mana na daga daga ni kelo sang about on doni rawa no tukuna ni lo mana na vikani kelo ke sang ni lo mana ro manda na wotimu mena mdo okay so you've got to love your wife you've got to love your wife Husbands love your wife just as he says in there love your wives just as Christ has loved the church and gave himself for her okay so give give yourself for her love your wives okay sambo reda manda na ngone to rango Jesu na ngone me dunru kina nga me samba samba la kanda na non len lot na luben cha okay Kuna wasi na mama lua, na wasi chikanda chiko, wana nde, eh na lo mani chikanda chiko, na wasi kubiki chikanda wana ndono, kwa sisi ni tangu chikanda, kwa sisi ni bado chikanda, kwa sisi ni kasi bichi chikanda, eh kwa sisi ni romba chikanda, kwa sisi ni songo tobi chikanda na katumba itumba, na wana tu rangi chizu, sisi ni taka baya, kwenye songo songo leni luto, eh kesa baya na wana tu rangi chizu. Itu ni cukup orang ni boleh tampu bikin tanah lili lima tahu balik nak turang apa kawaci? Kau sesiapa cukup ni boleh lebih ni? Ikut sahaja kawaci, ikut sah cukup mana kategori ni? Okay, kau sesiapa orang boleh cukup, ikut sembari ni boleh kawaci. Tinggal masalah nak bikin kaya, tapi cukup bikin tanah mata angin day. Husbands love your wife. Nengok nasi nak lebih kawaci kena. Mana numu cukup, mula mana nak cium? Mereka kasar ngan nuna mula mana ikut cukup, oh Yesus, eh? Husbands love your wives just as Christ has loved the church and gave himself for her that he listen to this that he may sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word verse 27 that he might present her to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that she should be holy and without blemish holy and without blemish okay so what it says in verse 27 is this that he jesus might present her to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that she should be holy and without blemish presentable beloved those things from verse 1 everything that was written that we should not copy that we should not adopt those lifestyles all those things they are spot and wrinkle beloved kongo ana me boka buna no ndanduka ko ena be kana itopa boka yango ke dia no me boka buna me so sunu ke nuke no ndai sul boka yallo menda na sanga ni rawa ke na ni presenta ki boka bina kana mata ni kelo okay wrinkle spot or wrinkle 
not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. Now the bottom line, ni nona viva rutegi na kolona, bottom line ni nona sulia na kolona nona bosa, so that you can become holy and without blemish. Okay? But two things that will make you unholy. Two things will make you unholy. Number one is spot. Number two is wrinkle. Okay? Spot and wrinkle. Now most of us who are listening to me right now in the United Kingdom, we are part of the military. Most of us have come out of the military. You live your life as a civilian. Most of you are still in the military. You know what, you know the importance of what I'm saying to you now. When we come in for our uh, parade, when there is a parade, there is something in the, in the military that we call buddy-buddy partners. Okay? A buddy-buddy system. Somebody comes and, and stand behind you and check your, your uniform so that there is no flaw, no wrinkle, no spot on that uniform because those are the tiny little things that whoever is inspecting you will pick up from you. Okay? We will spend hours on trying to get our dress to a state where it will be easily presentable before the one that will expect us, that will inspect us. Okay? Uh, so on a uniform, we came on the Scottish Regiment, Lebusar na ngada ngada ni namundo uniform na baliku na bas na kilt. Lebusar na kena ngada ngada na kena daga daga eh boga ya uwa na namundo ndambe toka ngam namundo sangatu. Sara mo de kada na leoni bale si ndo sangatu ngao kemo do namboro ya na namundo baba. We kemo do na Scots DG. Chiko na namundo uniform. And do time my virtu tala na bota ni virtu regiment. Do time my wana matevalu na Air Force. And do time my virtu na Navy. But at some point you will spend good amount of time, minutes and hours, trying to make your dress look presentable to a human being that, just like, that is just like you. But I'm talking to you this morning about our spiritual attire. Jesus expects this to be found on you. No sport, no wrinkle. That will make you unholy. Because it's in verse 27 that he might present her to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. If you want to understand what the word blemish means, in the book of Leviticus chapter 1 verse 1 to 3, Kajik bangko na kalobi mo sese, nira sa lago mo na Israel mera mo ibago dambo isoro. Kaya pa kaya rakoto mo na non risoro. May wanang gale ni monuman, eratau kaya na. Kaya na monuman e kumaya, it must be brought to the sacrifice without any blemish. Kakuni matang dua, kakuni daling ang dua, kakuni ngera na ibana, kakuni dua na kamel lang ang buwa. May may kumaya, may may baka tamburi buwa na kalo, it must be without blemish. The exact same theory, the exact same idea, the exact same point that God was implementing to Moses. On that day, in the book of Leviticus chapter 1, is what Paul is saying here in the New Church, and that includes you and me this morning. Because we are not going to go back to, this, to those Levitical sacrifices that God spoke to Moses about. We are living in the time of grace. However, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 1, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before God. Why? Because you, God wants you to be presentable. Aretana kena bimbi, endu anga na katoran kena marama. Ninta samai poka poka roto kana nonde sulu. Menda poka roto kiki kanda nando na inspection. We kanda na sam. Lebih ada mana mati balu. Endu anga kana poka puna mereri bi naka me presentable nonde sulu. Ena batu ni ayani. Wrinkles will only be removed by that heat that comes from that iron. And the type of irons that we have now, steam iron, lebuna kana bi matangali to rangen marama. We will try and get the best so that our clothes will be presentable on the day. We spend hours. So na ngaw na da mayaya ni tu sa na masasobo. And the sangachi ko nga, na inspection ni ruwan pa nga na minichi siya, tolo na minichi. 
pastegi ko nga e sang mantanga ni tuda ko to ko inspect me ngi pa ridi ko ta ke pa ridi ko so sang ko pastegi ko nga so no na sang mantanga ni ridi ko mai ye sang chuk ni kelako na baka baka ro da kabo mo ko membala ta nang ngona nga ni basi ko mai na ranaje na tamo ni baka baka ro lin ni tolu se bana bula na ke na baka baka ro te gitu na ranaje mai bi dangana minichi sang mantanga ni mai lululu bi ko bi dangana minichi no na pas sangai ye sang ni kelana ranaje no mo mo de baka da Sekarang ini kelana ramai jenama nomu kanan bangsa dana nomu dambet tu nomu sangat cukup meja yang di tengah bumbu nak na uniform, ya yang di tengah na terus saja na Chris men don don me kuni bebe me kuni ruah men dua ngam me sab, anak nomu dah sangat tu kan dah men dah presentable, an mata nomu tak mata kotor orang orang ni bawa tambah cukup ngau tu nana di tengah ni bola, yang gua yang bawa roti gigi kan dah cukup nak kalau to be presentable, an mata ni kalau, amen. Tunggu nampak orang ni walau tanpa that he might that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle. This is the reason, beloved. This is the reason why we first go to Revelation three fifteen. This is the reason. After after what Paul said here, Paul says that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle. Now what's wrong with orang tak kepola spot and wrinkle? You know what? Nakalo. Now when it turns out Jesus, he set his eyes on those words. They walk right to me. Now when it turns out Jesus, now what's that? And then I'm bullet taken back as his son. So I leave the sorrow and I walk to the Lord. So I walk right to the Lord. So I can't do no more. So I'm not even a cat. 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 Kata 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 I want them. I could wish if they are hot or cold. Kepa kaya ko sabi na katami wrinkles tunga, then stay cold. If you want that wrinkles to be removed, beloved, you need to become hot. That heat must be applied. Na heat ya, and rawanga nyo lako mebi chisu. Na kata kata ya, and rawanga nyo mebi kata kata ri, nyo sa lako mebi chisu. When that heat is applied to that apparel, It will remove wrinkles, and then you will look presentable. Amen. You will look presentable, my friend. You will look presentable, my brother. You will look presentable, my sister. My children, you will look. You will be looking presentable when that time comes, and God will have no problem recognizing you. You will be stand out. And right now, I'm not going to kill you. Now, Lubyan, go sarang my kango. Na lubiengo may Bobington, na lubiengo may may Southampton, na lubiengo may Tidworth, na lubiengo sarang nga may Inverness, na lubiengo sarang nga may Kinloss, may Lucas. Already ito nga ano kila na nonroto isulo, niya ito sabat pina kato na nonroto isulo. Yaya ni tigi ba ko pina kato? Ngay tori ko na ngani tori ngoti isulo, ngay presidente ko na mata ni kalo, ngay tungo na ba ngoko ay check tigi ko ay mandang ko ay tumango. Already ko ay manda. I have been doing my job presenting him. Preparing him day in and day out. Or yan rapang ko nandoon mataka. And biwe ni biwe nandoon na chikin ni pala tambo. Mowili ka. Gori ya baka rote gigo chikin na kalo. Kaya baka au wako to chikin ni biwe ko. Eso na chikin ni pala tambo na be mataka. To rankin mo rama. Gori siyang ni waya. Gori na kalo ya baka rote gigo chiko. Wana be chikin ni pala tambo todo. Kaya baka chikin ni gori ko. Preparing you. Preparing you. Preparing you. For you to become presentable. In the eyes of God. Amen. Remember this, beloved. Not every believer that goes to, not every Christian that goes to church, will be presentable on that day. O giranga erambulo apagan don don meba kanu bosi ni kalo. Siyang ano irato do kar lebe na nisong song ni noto. No disrespect to you and your denomination, but if you are not serious in your relationship with God, you will never be presentable on that day. You've got to live in such a way that you will be presentable. Tugon ba ngoko ay that He might present her. To himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. 
that you should be holy and without blemish. The reason why Jesus said that in the book of Revelation 15, a winakata mando katakata nga siyendo mata matasa, malatara katakata ay nakototan yun ng wrinkle. Kano ba ka bici? Siya ni Tobin Duco siya sa sunog nung kik. Na sa sunog nung kik ang dakila todo. Ang duang nga naka, kaya sa wata man nga na siya ni Tobin Duco siya sa sunog nung kik. Kaya lumbi lumbi ka umbi to pa ang kumit, ay na siya ni Tobin Duco. Kaya may apply tayong nga wana katakata. Ni apply tayong nga wana katakata, it will save you much time trying to do it on your own. But when the heat is applied, all those wrinkles will be smooth and you will be presentable. E sobi ka nga, ni tumunta nga iwal, ngayay na nalai su. E sobi ka nga, sa nga nga kawita, kaya yaya ni siya waray, sa nga lomana nga nga, sa nga nga nga. Ya, kena kani rarato rangkain marama, kena raramo ni posin ni kalo, and don dono, may sa nga ni kune, and dono sa sa nga 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 nga, isuluto doko po kaya lo, and don dara, and don dono, may kwa kune kune kina, no wrinkles. So what are the wrinkles? Wrinkles is what's mentioned in Ephesians 5, from verse uh, 3 downwards. Fornication, all uncleanness, covetousness, let it not be even be named among you as is fitting for saints. Filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coerced jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving thanks to God. spot and wrinkles. As long as the spot and wrinkles is there, you will not be presentable on that day. Asa na lay tumbe kay kya, may pagkana talo ni Jesus sa dagatun na kana kaya dawir may ukan ito kini songo kaya rin din doy bayir ay sang tubo ni Sulu ni kana pata ni Sima. Tono ko na may kanga wagay bay di ko sa lakom ay kaya kasi ang nito karama ni kini Sulu. Kaya tuwa na ko wiro tono na nandon nandon ng garabi do bisu ko na wana kena lingana do wiro tayo ito tumbo na do tangi ka basi ang gurong gurong bati kena. And I don't want that to happen to you. And I'm here standing and speaking to you to prepare yourself. Remove those wrinkles. Remove those spots. Paul says it's not fitting. He says in verse uh, 5, For this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, or covetous man, with his, which, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. In the kingdom of Christ and God. No inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. No inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. As long as you have spot and wrinkles, you have no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Remove those wrinkles. Remove those spots. Come to Jesus. The power of the blood of Jesus can wash away all those spots and allow Him to apply that heat that removes wrinkle. Amen. Bakatara. May pagsabasaba tayo kung nakaluwa na matangan din tayo. May remove tayo kung nakuha na wrinkles todo ko. Amen? Exodus chapter 34, verse 2. Last few Bible verses. I just want to read it to you. Don't want to explain it to you, but I just want to read it to you. But it is, as long as I know, this Bible verse is self-explanatory. Okay? It doesn't need any explanation. Listen, Exodus 34. Verse 1 and verse 2. And the Lord said to Moses, Cut two tablets of stone like the first ones, and I will write on these tablets the words that were on the first tablets which you broke. And then in verse 2, this is God. God speaking to Moses. Listen, beloved. This is God speaking to Moses. He says in verse 2 of Exodus 34, So be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning, to Mount Sinai and present yourself to me. Come up in the morning. Be ready in the morning. Come up in the morning to Mount Zion and present yourself to me. There on top of the mountain. God said to Moses, Moses, you come and you present yourself to me. But from that time until the time of Jesus, mankind has failed miserably. That's why Jesus himself wants to prepare us so that he can pre pre uh, present us. Amen? Now, preparation ni tamata, 
But they're going to present this in the matter. So I have to go to the matter. No. No. They fail. So Jesus steps in and says, I will do that. I will prepare them. And I will present them. He says to the disciples, I will send the Holy Spirit. I will ask the Father. And he will send the Holy Spirit. Ask the Father. And send the Holy Spirit. Ask the Father. Ask the Father what? The privilege for the Father to allow the Holy Spirit to come and prepare us so that we might be presentable before God. So what you know in the present day can about the but he is using the Holy Spirit to prepare us and Jesus will present us. So the Holy Spirit is preparing you with these words for you to be presentable for Jesus to be able to present us before God. Amen? It's important, beloved. And Romans 12, as I've mentioned before, he said this to the Roman churches, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy, listen, the same word that was mentioned there, he mentioned it again in here. Holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Holy and acceptable. You present yourself, your bodies, a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to the world. Walk away. Don't be unwise. You have the wisdom of God in you now. You have heard the word of God now. You become wise now. Don't be unwise to go back, to draw back from following God and follow the things of this world. Don't be unwise. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable. Some lifestyles are not good and are not acceptable. You change that, your lifestyle will be good, it will be acceptable, and it will be like the will of God. It's not acceptable in the eyes of God. It's not good in the eyes of God. Walk away from it. Walk away from it. We've got heaven to gain. This world to lose. Lose the world in order to gain heaven. Walk away from those filthiness. Walk away from that lifestyle. Walk away from that state of drunkenness. And when I say drunkenness, that is any form of substance that will make you drunk. Walk away from that. You, 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 it's better for you to lose that in order to gain heaven, in order to gain eternal life. Yes, I have any one color. On a living at Mandangamoli, had the kitchis, on a living at Molim, Maro Tatunambula. But you've got to lose the things of this world. Walk away from it, beloved. Amen. Roman can also tin katoloni, what you know the ticking of a tambo, and Matanga in the ticking a tin cover. Cabangone volatambo. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its last. Because that, that attire, it will never have wrinkle. It will never have spots. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the devil. For the flesh and the last. And, and, and to fulfill its last. I will read from verse 11. Romans 13, 11. And do this knowing the time 
that now is high time. Now is high time. Which means learn to be presentable now because it is high time now. Do this now, knowing the time that now is it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Ni yalo binda kasara, dayan rame na moite ba kayalo. Sabwal leka na nanda bambulay. Sabwal leka na nanda kaudaki. Sabwal leka na nanda redi chisu. Ni yalo binda kasara, au sabwaka mamasu. We can't at all dhokon. Ni yalo binda kasara, sarrota na moite ba kayalo. Ayan rabo na mumbulo ba kayalo. Ayan rabo na mbule na wotimu. Ayan rabo na mbule na nanda tumbule na lumiyamu. If you have children, that is your responsibility. It is now time, beloved, to wake up from your sleep. Now, we can't have a little bit of a burro burro and a beautiful man of burro burro. Now, it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. So, we can't have a little bit of a burro burro and a little bit of a burro burro and a little bit of a burro burro. You may not know that I am a little bit of a your salvation is nearer than when you first believed. Verse 12, the night is fast spent. We are drawing closer to that morning. Time and time again, we, I, I, I've read this on Facebook most of the time, these words, see you on that beautiful morning. See you on that beautiful morning. Until that glorious morning. What type of glorious morning is that, beloved? The Bible says here, Romans 13, 12, the night is fast spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness. Cast off. Viri taka lai bisa rangana kena batu. Nibi kabo ka buru buru. Cast off. Therefore, let let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day. Not in revelry or drunkenness. Again, the word drunkenness is is mentioned here. Kena balik balik turang kena marah. Kesal apa kau bila nanan dapat cukup angkana kalau bikin tu nanan mata kau ni kau nak drunkenness, nanti mati ni. Yang bikin kita dengan orang ni mati ni kena. Dero blue, dero benisin, nguno yang gona, nguno bia, nguno wine, nak kato tu kau mati ni kena. Turang kena marah. Get rid of all those in order to gain heaven. Amen. In order to gain heaven. That is a spot and that is wrinkle in your spiritual attire. This morning. Yes, I know that you want to go to heaven. Yes, I know that you want to receive eternal life. But those are the spots in your attire. And they must go, beloved. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust. Tukar barang kau ni tinggal tinggal kan tu. Ia engkau ni dekila sanggau na ni sanggau na engkau mandu. Yang rakyat nama mana mudi? Ni sanggai bola kan orang tumbula kaya wa na engkau ni nanti bawa bola tu bawa bota. Sabo kan ruwet ini nampungi. Asa bola kan asing. Aku yang mendang gay luwata tani nai bola bola ni butum butoh. Kau mendo baka ya rangi tu. Ena rarama. Tinggal tinggal kan tu. Kau mendo laku bola me baka kili kili. Me baka ena asing. Me kaku na na isongko songko lelia. Siapa mati ini? Me kaku na nanti undara. Siapa nai bola bola bela bela. Me kakuan na veleti siya na bubu. Tingin natin ka ba? Iyan daw ba kay sulo na turang ako si Jesus Christo. Kakakuan niya. Me baka raw kaya nang angandreta niya. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision to the flesh to fulfill its last. Beloved, be presentable. Tungan ba ang ko si Jesus Christo ni? Tungan ba yun na isong isong ulin nato? I want them. Kaya siya nga ni bata-bata, yar katakata. Kuang ani ram, bata bata balik lagi, er kata kata balik lagi. Kau sah, siang ani biar murid Yesus, sah lawat tanya serang awak kan dua. Forget about Jesus. Siang ani rani biar mui murid Yesus, orang yang murid cuma pura pura, orang yang murid cuma itu apa bagai aku. Gore, no bagai puna, no spot and wrinkle, and you will not be presentable, and you have no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and the kingdom of God. Kau yang nak ambil bibi kena, er mata kan ini. But the good news is, God is with us. Jesus is more than willing to accept you, to take you just as you are. We are about to pray to conclude this sermon this morning. But before I will pray for you, I want to invite you. I want to invite you 
to come back to Jesus. I want to invite you to give your life to Jesus. Obviously, if you're going to go to rank and marama, but what to say in a normal bula, my lesson my one on it around Jesus. If you are willing, God is more than willing. If you are willing to return to Jesus, if you are willing to come back to Him, God is more than willing to receive you, and Jesus is more than willing to become your Lord and your Savior this morning. Na numira na lubim to rank and marama. Just think about your children. Na numira na lubim. You gonna sing even a kata mesaya then don't know na. Masali rawatoy ko nambolo tamo don't get ready to na lubim mo to sali. Tangi tigma yana buno ni tangi wasyang gurung gurung bati. You don't want that. If you really love your children, you better change your life. If you really love your loved ones, you better change your life. If you should take another bullet to run and run, kaku ni na no manyo ay udun rubi ko sa ngaw lo maniko. Na bakasar nga no no lo maniko na kalu lo maniko talaga na matangin na ubiyat ko ni kena bakat ng dono bikanda na boso ni kalu. Ang bullet siyong ganon na ngaw na to run and run, o siya tayo sa siyang tayo ni bunita ka na no na inaki. Nanon na lawaki, nanon na ibandida, nanon na bibo ka lambuti. Sa siya nga tali, ni bunita ko siya tali, nanon na dagdag. Sa tiga buka, mambasi ka may, sa mata na, mata ilili po may, e mata na, dara ito, and sa rita, nanon na dagdag, sa dagdag at siya ko. Yung kandang kandang, isang nga kandang mandang ibunita ka, nanon na buka ang bota ng mga nitura ng chiso. And sa siya nga nga kata, meron to kailan na nanon na friends mo ikia, nanon na friends mo ikia, nanon sa baka iyo, mentang karabo na kalo. To rank and marama, na numubang bota ng wani to rango chisu, o iko nga, o na baka durumi ng bulat ang mundo. Siya nga niya rito li baka durumi kin, orto na numu friends. Orto na numu ilala korto bisuki ko chingwari. Orto na numu ilala korto undre chiko chingwari. Erto na siya nga nila marutaka ng bulat ang mundo. Kwa barutaka biko na kalo. O iko nga, o na li marutaka. Orto nga na lubiyang mo, erto na li marutaka. Kaya na numirto na lubiyang mo, o baka mo suchi ko. Walk away from this lifestyle. Kakwa ni bito kanyo pati kira sa abuwa burubura. Kepa ka ubiwa laku pati kira. Mo laku nga mo lituko ni birno bose ni kalu. Kepa ka isa nga? Walk away. Come out. Balata. Suna o leta. E nakakana chiko na nonro bose. Na nonro bi wali. Na ito ba na bose. Bi talo na baka si sila. Na bi ka isa nga di baka na bose ni kalu. E nakakana chiko. E na dhaka dhaka kino buni alo mene bisuki ko. E na baka yawa te giko mai. Bua na kalu ngo. Garu na baka bina. Kesa tukuna na ibola tambo. Mo laku tenu mibira. Kena malam balik malu kata ni bir. Esok kata lindu no bos yang arif. Waktu rumah ni lama ya. Mei pangan susu mita ka. Oh no, you can still be with them. It's okay. No, no, it's not okay. If the Bible says that it's not okay, beloved, it's not okay. You've got to learn to trust the word of God. You've got to learn to believe in the word of God. Whatever He says is good, it is good. Whatever He says is bad, it is bad. If God says walk away, then walk away. Walk away means to walk away. There's no other explanation. If God is saying to you, walk away from it now, then walk away from it now. Mena ngono pambole kena me domo ngwa sabole kana nonda rere nona rere mena lobe nikalo. God is preparing you once again in order for you to be presentable before God. Ke kusa solimboloti, praise the Lord and God bless you. Ke kusa berni pepeteso, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Na tebor na sanga junga me bisuki ko mo kaku ni takaba na kaket ketet tuku ni biko na kalu na kaba. Kakuata liwa wa to rank and marama. So liya na nandang bula, nda lesu may buwa na ngwane to rango jesu. Sabo leka ni wachi. Kala na ilawo. Na yado na ngawna, sana wati na kukwa ni ilawo. Sana wati. Na kola. Kwanta didibo tungkwa nda baka sangkaratu ka na yado na ngawna. Kapang kwa na do na turang, apang madala taka chukwa na yado na ngawna. Na may tatawo tunga ni mga itawo nga ni katumba. Na kola. Sana sanga nindu. Because the value will be gone. Dua orang nak available, anak ngau nak sarang antar kita tahun macam tu, anak nak membulu pakai alu, kena mati itu bawa lama lain, kau baru tak tahu fikir anak kalau. Those are the two most valuable things that we can have, the eternal life that is prepared for us, and your life before God right now. No membulu orang nak available tu untuk, no amount of money can buy that. Ya, kita bawa sahaja lata ya. No amount of money can be used to buy your soul back from hell to go back to God. No. This is the time. This is the place. You've got the opportunity. Make the most of it. Will you please bow your heads with me? 
I want to invite you. Remember what I've said in the past. This is not an obligation. You are not obligated. You are not obliged to do this. But it is just an invitation to give your life to Jesus. And if you are here and you know that God is speaking to you, then you need to make that decision right now. Choose God. Choose life. Choose heaven. Be bold like Joshua. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon. Please bow your heads. I want you to pray this simple prayer with me. We come on in a bar wrong to my come on in a sarasar to my if you want to give your life to Jesus, please bow your heads wherever you are. If you will be watching this sermon later on, this moment is the most important moment of your life. Bow your heads and pray this simple prayer, and God will always be available on the other side to receive you. Close your eyes and just repeat this simple sinner's prayer with me this morning. Dear Lord Jesus, I want to thank you this morning for your word. Thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. I know that you are speaking to my heart. And I know that these words are specially prepared for me this morning. I confess that I am a sinner and I need a savior. And I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, to wash my sin and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I confess that you are the Son of God. I believe in my heart that you are the Son of God. And I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God. I invite you into my heart. I invite you into my life to be my Lord and be my Savior. I give my life to you, Lord Jesus. Take me as I am. I thank you for this new journey. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you for receiving me. I will try my best to live my life in such a way that when that time comes, I will be presentable before the Heavenly Father. I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we want to thank you. Father, we want to praise you. This is the reason why we come here. This is the reason why we worship you. This is the reason why we sit down. This is the reason why you wake us up another morning. This morning. You wake us up in order to remind us. You wake us up in order to prepare us. By the power of your word this morning. And we thank you, Lord. We know that we are still loved by you. This is the reason why these families, Lord, they choose this time to sit down and listen to your word. Because where else can we turn? You have the word of eternal life. Tamango sa maso laga to rani solibir na lindo ndo mera torna dabi kalau ni bagam boti kemuni mer dikila taka to ranga beir na tamata nira sama ingarabi kemuni 
me va cano no moni vos ninguém va calo nga tanga no bula todo xar ir er nangali var rong tu geni va malua o ir er waso so ba da ka sa ni sama romai au sa maso la katalanga no non rumbula no matan din da ninguém vi buke ni vi va calo nga ta gitiko vi ira toranga e na matan ko na volem xar ta magu na ngono na ngong na volem na kawai na volem no moni suro vi kema mi sombu mai no matan din da kale bu na ni mami baga vi binaka e na matan ko kema mi sanga ni mola ga toranga me kemem tetou na kategori kemem ni non non bolan lebe mun ni nan dotala na bulo bo novemba kemem sia ngani kala na dabe na kota mai kemem sia ngani kala sia o deyo ni sana kota yani se sai wetu utim bakani ni mami loto ngo turanga me kemem sana kau yani bo kemem ni kemem sa baga bini bina kanga bi kemem ni an mata ngani sa baga dambori tigo nan bola ana lomo ni bolo todo kongo ni nge be maro roi tigo nan ni mami kalu ni be tango magi tigo ni mami kalu ana mata ngani ni na bole besar turanga ni dona bola ni nganga bola ni ni mami tuku ni alu takana bi kau ni takabu kemem ni Veke mami, ena matani ko. Mela veti to ranga, me rokovi me vosa vena kate kina edamuni. Ve ira roba ka ronga tiko me veti. Se na tonta ko ni vono ingelandi ke me sabi na nomi tiko na masu. Nengi vaka longa ta taka na non rombula, vaka lebu sara to ranga. Ena matani ko. Vena vo lebu tala na tseng ni ko ta mango. Vena vo lebu na veka kede kene so ni masu. Vena vo lebu na nomi ni dingo mi ke mami. Vena vo lebu na nomi ni vosu ti ke mami. Kena nomi ni vaku ko te ki ke mami tala na mataka ni ndahi. Ke mami ga idu vaka masu. Ena vaka vini vina kato ranga. Sanga na da tani ana da ngani libia muni ochisu na ni mami turang a vinaga ni mami bawa mbulan dina en doa mawa amen amen na muni lolo mo lebo na kalo na muni ala tambo na doni vitu berna buni kan dina to ranga muni tiko toni kema mende inda ikana be singa kana ni ni mbulan ikala sabo me kakua sarangani mundo amen amen